Okay, I have been asked by somebody called Anthony to let him know how to use Zeus so that he can just be a little bit fluid and gooey in terms of uh, setting up missions while live in the mission and putting objects down when live in uh, in a map, in an editor, in a game, doing stuff. So, um, Anthony Peppers said, How can I be a Zeus and switch into the game as a jet pilot after having placed targets? I'd love to do this for practice, but I'm not sure how. I'm new to armour. Um, would appreciate the uh, help. So, let's try and help. So, what you're going to need in order to do that uh, live um, in-game is... Uh, First and foremost, Ares with Achilles, uh, MCC Sandbox and Community Base Add-ons. These are all available from the Steam Workshop um, and or Armorholic. Um, so those are the two locations you'd be able to get these mods. Um, so it's MCC Sandbox, Ares 1.8.1, Achilles 1.0.2 and then community base add-ons. It's not uncommon that when you add these mods that it requires that you add community base add-ons anyway. So we'll do this as if you're going to be doing it on a live server um, but it will just have work just as well if you're doing it in editor. So what we'll do is we'll go to uh, server browser, we will host a server but we won't, I'll just keep it as a LAN. Uh, just host the server and then we'll set it to Stratus um, and we'll stick it as uh, new 3D editor. I'm not bothered about parameters or anything in that one. Okay, so we'll just let that load in. There we go. And we're just using this actually just for the sake of frames. Um, so let me zoom up and out here. Camera's up me in a really weird place right now. There we go. Zooming up and out. There we go. Okay, so the first thing to remember, I suppose, in terms of doing all of this, um, as you're setting this up, is that you typically, as you start to add things, um, it's going to add um, crew onboard vehicles. So ideally what you want to do is add yourself in first and foremost into the game. So if you wanted to be, you know, let's say for example you were going to be um, a pilot and we'll use the stealth black wasp and we'll just orientate that around. Oh, cancel that. There we go. And we'll point it the right way. Okay, if you don't know how to change the direction of an object, you press the shift button, click on it, sometimes it does that. There we go, just press shift, oh, sometimes it does that as well, annoying. And then you drag just the mouse around, you just move a mouse in a circle when you've got the shift button pressed, oh. And it's crashed. Armour has crashed. Oh, well, there you go. Armour has just crashed. Oh, that's the first armour crash I have had in a while, I must admit. There we go, let's just um, get this running again. I think I've just annoyed it while trying to rotate an object. Won't take long to reload. Bear with me. Just loading in. So I'll try not to be uh, quite so rough with it this time. These things do happen from time to time. But we shall recover our position fairly quickly. Okay, so as again, we'll do Stratus New 3D Editor.
That's the benefit of running on SSDs. Which is all very good. Okay. Uh, can't regain. There we go. Let's go back over here. So yeah, I was saying if you want to orientate an object, just press the shift key. If you need to change its altitude, uh, you can press the alt key so it raises an object up and down. Um, so there we go. let's just get the black wasp stealth and stick it down. Press the shift key and then drag it to face the direction we want. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the top part of this menu and I'm going to change the pylon settings. And I can actually, at this point, change the loadout of the vehicle. Um, now for the sake of Anthony's question, um, I will make an assumption um, he was talking about ground targets, so I'm actually going to put some bombs on there, so I will just leave them AM9 uh, on there and see if we've got any bombs we can load into the bay, and actually we can't. In fact, you know what? I think that's all we can actually use. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. I don't want that one. You can't use anything on it. We'll use we'll use the wipeout. Let's use in fact you know what we'll use the other wasp instead. Can we load anything different? Yes we can. That's better, isn't it? Okay. We shall use uh GBUs for that one. And we will use the Mesa AGM for that one. Okay, all good. And in the middle, excellent. We're just going to put some different ordnance on it so we can use it for either air-to-air -air combat or we can be using it for um, for um, air attack. We can be quite fluid and gooey about it there. So, just to confirm, um, I don't want to be that fighter pilot. I want to be this fighter pilot, so I'll right click on that one. And then be the player on that one. And that's just how you set it up in the uh, in Zeus. Double click on it, open up that menu and make sure you are enabled as the player. And that's always the first item that you put down. So the first object, the first person, or the first person in a vehicle, uh, or the first, or should I say, the first vehicle of a person, make sure you've selected as a fighter pilot. If you started to put down CSAT, and the first thing you put down was a you know a CSAT helicopter with a pilot in it, you would be that helicopter pilot. So you need to make sure that if you didn't want to be that person, again, you would um, click into the box here, and you probably find it ticked like that. You need to make sure that you unclick the player in there. Okay, so, so let me delete that because that's not relevant to right now. So in Anthony's scenario, he wants to be a little bit gooey and fluid about objects he's placing down in-game at any point in time. So what we'll do for Mutt now is we'll take off in a moment in this plane and we'll fly around and then we'll start to add stuff live while we're flying around. Um, but also, let me just add an enemy somewhere over here. It doesn't have to be anything or anybody spectacular. But let's just, for the sake of the game, add an enemy in there and we shall put in... Uh, just put something in it's simple we shall put in a car we don't want to get um, too done in too soon we'll use that ammo truck there in fact we'll use two ammo trucks one there and one there there we go okay I'm gonna just play that scenario here we go I'm gonna go in select myself on this multiplayer server per se click on there and continue. There we go. So just let me make sure my track IR's on. Yep, okay, good. As always, gents, flaps down, engines on. Okay. What I actually forgot to mention there before I took off um, 
is that MCC is an add-on you can use in-game as well as Zeus. Now in order to use um, MCC in-game, the typical default button is to press Control delete which brings up this menu. It allows you to change your view distance settings, it's like a local uh, setting so you can remove any mist and fog and all that kind of stuff, you can adjust the amount of detail and grass and all of that stuff so you can recover frames as well. Um, these are all your shortcut settings, um, but you typically use control and delete to open it. I'm going to come back into using it again later on, but for now, just so you, I just wanted to explain what I did there. I'll come back to MCC a little later on, um, but for now, um, we will get airborne. I've set my view distance to the maximum 12k. Let's get airborne. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to turn them effects down for now. I don't know whether you could hear them or not, but I just don't want to risk ruining the experience and talking over the narrative for you not to be able to hear what's going on in game. So right now it's not important that we've got the ammo trucks in there we're going to pretend now that um, as per Anthony's question he wants to change the scenario um, and as part of that he wants to add some more stuff into the game so if I press Y it's not going to activate Zeus because we've got MCC logged in so let's go control delete again and then we're going to this time just click login and you can see that we're actually live now in game and what you need to do Oh, just let me uh, do that and make sure actually I'm maintaining stable flight. There we go. Right, so let's just try that again. And then click on this button here, which is called Zeus. And then we'll click on the map. And we shall click on this part of the map. Okay, so when we clicked on that part of the map, it took us to the end of the map where we requested Zeus. Now in Zeus here it's going to take some while for you just to play about with it but just like you did in the Eden editor you had all the factions, you had your teams, your units and all of this kind of stuff. Now then, um, let's just for the sake of being really 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 quick and efficient because we've actually we are actually flying at this time we're going to go for CSAT, a group so we'll go for a group of oh dear I've died in game that's not very good is it Honestly, I'll tell you what, I won't take off this time. Continue. We'll just go straight in and then we'll build the scenario straight away while sat on the ground. This just isn't thought out in any way, shape or form. I'm just doing this on the fly in the hopes I'm helping a fella understand what's going on. So just bear with me. I think it's the most uh, transparent way as well. I think it's probably the fairest way and most honest way of doing it. It's just doing it live on the fly. And again, we you know we'll pick the Camino firing range over there. Click on that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just stick some units here that we want to destroy. Bearing in mind this is now running live on a server. So you could have people running around with guns and all that various bits and bats, team members and whatever. Um, so we'll stick some motorised um, HMG. There we go, they're active. Uh, special forces, we shall use a diver team on a boat over here as well. Oh come on mate, you don't want to uh, drive off without your teammates do you? 
There we go. Right, so that's just going to sail around now for a little while. So oh, no, 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 no. That'll do. Okay, so we've got units, and as you can see, you can actually change what's happening with these guys if you click on them and do special menu stuff. So if you right-clicked on the whole unit, sorry, double-left-click, my apologies, you can change what's happening with them. If you highlight them or click on the map, they'll move to that specific area. So you can do this all live in-game. Things are actually happening and moving in-game right now. Um, now then, if for some reason you wanted to be somebody else or something else in-game, uh, let's just say for example we went to OP4, you want to be CSAT, helicopter, engagement, uh, yeah, now then we need to put this, let's we'll pop that there, and then we'll give it some altitude up here, like so. And then what's going to happen is you go to Zeus, and then you've got an option here in Zeus called Remote Control. Now this is really, really good for becoming an opposition player, so we're live again, in-game. Um, and I can make all of this work wonders. So I'm now flying this Cashman, like so. I've got a gunner sat in the gunner seat, who's auto-populated, so he's doing all of the uh, the cool stuff there. Have I got control of any of the weapons? No, let me see if I've got manual fire, yes. There we go. There we go. So I have full control. Give it a whirl. And there you go. I'm now in control. And then I can release UAV controls. And then I go back into Zeus as me. To come out of Zeus, all you do is press Y and then you're back in that scenario again. Now the reason that was spinning around then is purely for the reason <laughs> that I was um, had my foot down on the yaw for the helicopter as I handed over the um, controls. So now I need to get airborne and deal with this scenario. Bing bang bosh. How good is that? Two missiles away there. Boom, there we go. Enemy down. Coming into the Camino range. Uh, we shall drop a bomb. Um, I'm not doing this just to see what damage we do. Oh, it's not going to drop anything on there, it's not going to be an accurate drop, so we'll leave that just for the moment. And then we'll flip and roll. So flip it over, and then roll. Just using the targeting rectacule right now. Bingo! How good is that? Didn't even, didn't even need to get my gear up. How good is that? So there you go. Let's say I've destroyed all the enemies. I want to do all that again. Press Y this time because we're still logged in. We didn't log out. And you're able to. In fact, it doesn't look like I hit anybody actually in that area. Let's have a look. Did I get anybody? Did I even get anybody? didn't hit anybody. There we go. Never mind. We could swing around and do it again if we wanted to. Um, so, we could now stick down a different faction. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's just do Syndicate and we're going to do... 
um, cars. Oh god, I've died in my plane again. But you get the point. You can just stick loads and stuff down and do it quite gooey, quite fluid. Um, I should have been paying more attention to what I was doing in the plane again, shouldn't I? Taking off is never a good idea. Um, well, let me just show you what I was about to show you. Again, I'm not going to take off for this part. I don't need to take off. Now, you've seen the main part of it. There's nothing more really to to add about how you change what you're doing. But what I will do is just show you how you can set factions up against factions. Um, so we'll just log in. Just make me make sure that that is fine here. Yeah, log in. Zeus. I'm not going to walk you through MCC. There's such a lot to MCC. You're not going to get through all of that. And to be honest with you, a lot of it even I don't understand. Um, there are people far more knowledgeable who have uploaded videos on MCC, so I recommend that you go to those instead. So what you could potentially do, um, just in order to add units in, is go to Infantry, we'll go to Multiple, we'll go to FIA. And we'll stick an Assault Squad. I'm holding Control right now. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to cancel that. And I'm going to orientate them all. Cancel. In a V formation. That one didn't want to change for some reason. Sorry folks. The other way. Thank you. And then we'll go this way. And then we'll stick a different faction down. I'll go a couple of weapon squads there. There, there, and there. I'll we'll stick another one there. And then that one. Over there. And then what we'll do is, we're just going to watch that. I'll just press backspace, that gets rid of the command interface. And you've got all of these fellas shooting each other in a live little battle. It's almost red versus blue. So imagine that you had a boat crew coming in on a mission. Rescuing a down satellite or something while that's going on. That'd be cool. Anyway, I hope that's been of uh, use to you. I know it was a bit of a quick one through. I've had a couple of crashes and a couple of plane crashes as well, but I hope that helps. Anyway, good luck. Cheers. Bye.